Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. If you guys checked out last episode, you guys know exactly what we're doing. Otherwise, make sure you go check that out for those of you who are up to date. We had to go and meet Clay on Route 9, I believe, to receive our TM, because apparently he said he wants to do something with us on Route 9. If I'm not mistaken, Route 9 is in this direction. I could be wrong. I'm probably correct because something is happening. Oh, hi, chum. Where is she? Behind us? She is behind us. Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's the Driftfell gym badge. Oh, that's totally cool. That's amazing. No, no, no. I can't get distracted You're being all impressed with your shiny new gym badge. I'm also a trainer at times. I'm also a trainer. At times like this, you battle, right? I was not expecting that, but we're, we're going to battle. Uh, going to be gonna be a fun time. I, I mean, I, like I said, I wasn't ready, but at the same time, I'm always ready. Four Pokemon from Schoolboy Pie with a Volby for the lead. That is bad for us because I just put... Actually, no, it should be alright for us. I did just put um, Mojo Jojo in front, but I switched again. So we have Lucky in front here. And I'm not clicked onto the, uh, the bloody game, which means I can't control it. Now I can control it. Let's go fight. And let's just start off with Confusion. It's a strong move. This thing isn't Dark, damn it. I thought it wasn't Dark type yet, but I was wrong. Which also means we should switch, especially because now it has, has, a, has a boost of, of scariness. Let's go into Urza, I guess, because we resisted Dark typing for now. Until Generation 6, we resisted Dark typing. And I don't see a special normal, uh, special flying move coming out of our way. Flatter! Overpowered. Please nerf. Are we fine staying in? I feel like I am. Metal Core, let's go for it. Even though the Flatter Boost really isn't going to help us at all, then we're going to hit ourselves in confusion, because fun. Oh my god, stop setting up. Oh my god, okay. As you just have to hit through. Um, I'm silent because I'm scared. This thing is at plus six. What on earth is going on? Okay. As long as the last move isn't a special move, we should be fine. As long as the last move isn't a special... Stop flattering me. It's not, it's not funny anymore. It ceased being funny a long time ago. Can you hit through? Yes, you can. Thank you. I got so scared for a second because I was like, oh no, it's a dark type move. Those things are special. But then I realized we're playing Gen 5, not Gen 3 or below, so we're fine. High proportion, can you not? So basically, the um... Let's, let's just switch. Now we know that we have nothing to be afraid of. Let's just switch into Ezra again. Um, but yeah, we should we should be we should be good to go. We should be fine. Yeah, because we know there is no special move on this uh, on this Volibee, but still, getting to plus six is still quite scary. And I'm speeding up here because this thing has been on our screen for way too long. Let's move on to the next Pokemon. She has four of them, and this one took that long. Urza hits level 29. That's amazing. I didn't even look at that. That's we can learn slash. I'm talking so fast. I apologize. Um, it's all kinds of power, but it's not thing of boosted. So we're gonna give it a skip. Because pretty much everything else is base 60 already. Um, and Metal Claw is obviously stronger. And Slash is super effective against nothing. So we don't need, we don't need the high chance to crit. I mean, we're right. Bibberal is here, which is good news for us. Because that means Mojo Jojo can get some experience. Because of course, as we know, Bibberal is water type. If we get Mojo Jojo here, I'm still speeding up because I, I, I'm, I'm impatient. I want to get to Route 9. And I'm going to have to heal up after this now too because I've taken so much damage. Let's go for the Seed Bomb. How much damage is it going to do? Whoa. I was going to say yes, over 50%, but then it was like, no, 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 over 100%. All right. No. Trap Inch is here. We could stay in, but I want to switch. I want to get Osiris some experience as well because this man's almost hit, about to hit level 27, which is kind of insane. I like how I started this episode off by using a psychic type move and a dark type Pokemon. Like, it really goes to show my Pokemon prowess. Either way, let's go for the water gun. No reason not to. It's super effective. Every other move is just the lols. We, this time, we actually do over 50%, not over 100. But it's fine because the second hit will get the KO. No problem. Watch, we get, watch us get the lowest of low rolls. Now that, I, now that I say that, I remember a time when we were playing the Nuzlocke. Not the Nuzlocke, the... um. What was it? The <laughs> battle spot. And I, I did over I did over 50% by a good margin with an attack. And the next turn the attack got the min roll. It must have been min roll because it didn't kill. And I was like, all the salt. Literally every single ounce of the salt. That was me. 
Go for the fake out. It's free damage. Not gonna do that much anyway. Ooh, look at him out. Look at him out. Look at him out. We'll go for some pursuits, and the only reason I'm in here with Salem is because I just want I want everyone to hit the field in this battle. Because I think we've achieved that. The first Pokemon had, went up against three Pokemon, and then Mojo, Jojo, Osiris, and Salem came out. So we're good. We're doing it. We are doing it. Showcasing everybody. Honestly, Chansey does seem like Bianca's kind of Pokemon, so... Interesting. I like it, Randomizer. I like your choices. Two... I should have shared that around. I should have shared that around. Two thousand, like what? 900 or something like that? Pretty much 3,000 experience. Good lord. It's a whole level. Salem, you're going to sit, take the back seat for the rest of the episode. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Charm. You've become totally strong, huh? I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way tuned into how your Pokemon feel. Oh, um, I know... Oh, you know what? I'm sure this... I wanted to share this HM with you, Charm. I can't speak. We got Fly! Yes! Too bad we haven't got a flying Pokemon, do we? I think we do. I don't think we do. Either way. We obtained fly, let's go. My papa gave it to me after he tried to take me home that time. I'm sure it's so I can come home anytime he wants though. Oh hey, I have this to share with Charon too. I have to share this with Charon too. See you, chum. Bye bye. Buh bye. Not bye bye. Buh bye. Anyway, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up because we took mad damage. And I'm I'm drawing a blank as to whether we have a a what do you call it? A flying type Pokemon, a Pokemon that can learn fly. Because I don't think so. But for some reason, I'm not certain. And, and I'm, I'm, if you guys don't know, even though you guys can see the layout, I can't. So the layout comes in post post production. Fun time. Anyway, let us see. <gasps> this thing better be able to learn fly. I'll be so upset. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 90 base power. I will take it. Yes, we can fly. Oh my goodness, what are we going to get rid of though? I, don't, I have no idea what moves we have. We're never going to use Astonish, let's get rid of that. We're going to keep Wing Attack, of course. I mean, sure, it's a lot weaker, but I mean, I'm not going to want to fly all the time. Not to mention, it doesn't have the most PP. Actually, while we're here, let's look at the other moves. Nothing too extravagant. Let's see if anyone can learn Extra Sensory right now, just out of curiosity. Nobody. I wish I knew what move each thing was, so I, I would... Yo, we have all really high numbers of TMs. Look at this. Our lowest is 58, and I just pressed A on it again. Whatever. Let's move on. Move on all the way over to Route 9, I believe. Like I said, that is where Clay wants to meet us. And we're like almost 10 minutes into this episode, and we still haven't got there. And I say almost, but it's like literally 7 minutes. Um, This is Route 9. I believe we have our first encounter here. So we're not going to catch whatever we see here. Yeah. We can give it a miss. I'm 90% I'm certain we got our first encounter. I remember we got to this town. I did it straight away because I was like super impatient. I wanted an encounter so bad. Either way, once again, I'm rocking the Star Wars mug. So I can stay all kinds of hydrated. And I can't believe this thing lived in Incinerate. At the same time, you need to calm down, Spinarak. You need to calm down. Why do you have Shadow Sneak? I won't lie, it's a really cool move for you to have, but why? Why? Um. But yeah, I'm surprised, it didn't, I'm surprised Incinerate didn't kill it first, but at the same time, it's Incinerate. It's a very weak move. We have Elite for Noel here. We are not ready for this. But he has a well and we have a five times so we should be Gucci. Let's go. And this thing, I'm pretty sure it has high defense. Maybe we'll go... Wait, this thing might be bug... This might be poison type. X defend. Are you a poison type? Yes, you are. Either that or you're a, a fighting type, which you're probably not. Just going to take a shot in the dark here and say you're not. Either way, let's get the plus one. For no reason, because I just realized this guy had only one Pokemon. And Lucky gets a level 27, which is great. Unless this thing gives one experience. No, it gives 1,061. So there you go. 27 Lucky. I, we need to get Lucky in front, man. He, he was the front runner for a very long time. If you guys remember, if you've watched the series from the beginning, for a very long time, we had a Heatran with Ancient Power and Lucky. That was it. So I'm glad Lucky's still around. Rest in peace, Heatran. I love you so much. You got a fire move and then you disappeared. Sad, sad times. Um, but Lucky is still around. Lucky is still putting the finest. That's always. I love it. 
Golden is here. We're not going to bother killing the scene because I need to talk to wild Pokemon. I don't, I don't remember if I bought repels, but I'm sure I told myself I need to, and I never did. Pokemon with dry skin love water type moves and rainy weather. I'm talking about the ability of these Pokemon, of course. I feel you. I feel you, woman. Why? Golden, why? Okay, we're going to check if we have repels right now because I'm not interested. I am all kinds of disinterested. Let's go bag. It should be in not this pocket. Ooh, we have them. I actually did something useful for once, and re well, at least remember to do something. Should I go down here? What's it down here? The beginning of the route. Well done. Good thing we use repels. Do we? We don't have surf yet, do we? No, we don't. We have something. We have cut and fly right now. So that's normal. She can see me from really far away. Her eyes don't exist from this distance. We are totally in sync. Our amazing connection. I'll teach you all about ranges. I thought she meant me and her. I thought we had a thing going on there, but no, she meant rangers in general. So whatever. She's not a ranger. She's a leader with a furrow. Not gonna lie, that thing looked a lot like a damn Dratini when it got out of the ball before it actually had like colors and stuff. When it was just a white blob, I got really confused for a second. Speaking of Dratini, I would not be opposed to getting one in this Nuzlocke, so game. Randomizer, hit me up. Really good man damage. I haven't got the confusion off. Let's go for flame charge. Let's get all kinds of speed up in here. I'm not happy with being outsped. I mean, we can't stop that when he uses quick attack. But still, oh, I still love the animation. It's so good the way the fire wraps around the Pokemon. We have all kinds of speed. Now, can you hit yourself in confusion so I didn't waste my luck? Oh, that's it. That's what I want to see. Yo, we actually are lucky. All right, guys. So we had a minor interruption there. I honestly don't even know what's happening anymore, but... We should be all right. Um, we have to go up against an Elokid, so we're going to switch Pokemon. We'll go into our resident ground type, who I believe is our lowest level right now. It's kind of on par with, um, what's his name? Mojo Jojo, but, I mean, Mojo Jojo is about to level up, so we should be Gucci. Let's go for the Mud Bomb, because we have eyes. We have two eyes. Yo, this man used light screen. What a pro play. He predicted the special. Yo, this is going to do nothing. Did more than I expected, actually. Let's, keep, let's stay in here and go for the mud shot now. A slightly high accuracy, and I don't think the di damage difference will matter. So we should be fine here. If it does, we'll go for another one of the original sh attack, that we will have to. But we slowed him down, so maybe, just maybe, we can get away without getting hit a second time. No, we cannot. We're not that fast. Can we hit the mud bomb? Yes, we can. Can it KO? Yes, it can. Well done, Marsh Tom. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. And honestly... You have such a you have such a fire name, Marshtop. Osiris is fire. Anyway. Do you know much about this berry? I do. I know a little bit about it and how it can cure paralysis. And I hope I'm right, otherwise I'm gonna sound stupid. Anyway, let's move on. I don't know why I, I don't know why I skillfully dodged the grass when I didn't need to at all. But let's heal up a Pokemon real quick. Because we can. And then we will be on our merry way. So you need to heal. You don't need a super potion heal, but it's fine. It's fine. Should we put Mojo Jojo in front? Nah, I think we'll stick with Lucky for a little bit longer. Honestly, though, like, if you guys remember, Salem got some insane experience from that Chansey. That it's almost on par with Urza for levels now, and I've barely used it. But I'm glad I have it. I'm a fan of Live Pod. Very cool Pokemon. We see a Turtwig here. We're going to go straight for the... I guess we'll go for Flame Charge. Part of me is like, oh, this thing obviously has better defense than Special Defense, but it's a turtle. The difference is probably pretty abysmal. Not to mention, Incinerate's a bad move, so... We'll go for the Flame Charge. And one shot. Let's go. That's what we want to see. That is exactly what we want to see, Lucky, and I'm very, very, very proud of you. Get 400 experience, not too much. We get Ducklets coming out. I guess we'll use this opportunity as a way to get Mojo Jojo up to, up to uh, level 27. That'd be nice. You know, I don't like that I keep going up against these water flying types because my water type answers a grass type, and these flying types are obviously flying types. Not, not a lot of fun. Go for the seed bomb. Can we one shot? It's, it's just a ducklet. It's not a swanner. It's just a. Ooh! All over one shots. All over the place. Those Pokemon both gave a 4 or something number of experience, I think. A Dargon type? The Steel type has to come out. I'm not messing with dragons. I get that we have a lot of HP and Dragon Rage is not that scary, but I'm still not messing with dragons. And wow, Mojo Jojo has more HP than Urza. That is a surprise to me. 
Let's go for the Metacore. This is probably going to one-shot as well. If everyone else is one-shotting, Urza should definitely one-shot Pokemon. And last but not least, a Goldeen. So it looks like our friend Mojo Jojo is coming back into the spotlight. So let's do it. I could have brought out Marsh Tomp. I could have. Wouldn't have been a bad idea. But we'll let Mojo Jojo hang out for a little bit. I want to use Pokemon I don't get to use much, like Lipard and Mojo Jojo, whatever your name is. Simi Sage. Simi Sage. Because I don't use this Pokemon. I don't actually use none. Another 4 or something. This person's experience levels are pretty on par. Apart from that Axie, that actually kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Yo. Are the people in there going to give me a source buck slash dearly? That'd be exciting. I will research and investigate your Pokemon. Please don't do that. That sounds really rude, dude. That sounds really rude. We have another Elite Four Zoe. What a manly name you have, my friend. Hound Hour. That is a quick switch because it's a dark type. If it pursues me and kills me, we are like actually uninstalling everything. All of the recording programs. But no, we're fine. It's alright. Osiris is here. X attack. Yo, the other guy used it, uh, an X item as well. Is that like is that like the uh, the scientist thing? Is that what they do? Even though they're called Elite Four. Mud bomb. Yo, Marsh Tomp has eyes. I know they're really tiny, but Marsh Tomp has eyes because we ain't missing any mud bombs. That did a lot of damage. Beat up. That's scary. Except there's only one Pokemon in your team, so it's not that scary. And down goes the Houndoom. With a little bit of experience, you get me to level 27. Absolutely beautiful. You know, we haven't had an evolution in a while. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Then, and then again, I say that, but that's because it's been three weeks since, the, like, two episodes ago. So, you know, that's why it feels like a while. Anyway, we have items to grab, which is exciting because always randomized and fun stuff. X, special defense. Maybe randomized, maybe not fun stuff. Can we, can we get this without? Wait, we have a repel on. It's fine. And what do we have? A dragon skin. That means we can evolve a Kingdra if we or we can evolve for a Kingdra if we ever get one because I have enabled in this let's play, um, what are they called? Uh, impossible evolution. So like instead of having to trade a Kingdra or a Seedra with a, um, with a Dragon Scale, I just have to level up to a certain point. Either way, let's talk to everyone in this room. Some Pokemon change their appearance depending on the season. Could that be also considered a type of evolution? No, it's not. Apparently, according to the game. The temperature and humidity inside inside the case next to me are controlled by a machine. Very cool, very cool. We research changes in nature that occur due to the seasons. Consider the Pokemon called Gilling, which lives in this forest. Its appearance is said to change according to the season. This characteristic this characteristic is of great interest to us. We want to research this kind of Pokemon and observe its seasonal changes. That's how we developed a marvelous climate control system that transcends the seasons and allows us to freely adjust temperature and humidity. Up to this point, everything has been fine, but we are very busy and we haven't had a chance to catch many dealing to study. So this, so this is what we would like to ask you. Please capture a dealing. Then, when its appearance changes, could you bring it back to the lab? Then, when we've confirmed the change to the dealing you bring us, we will also go search for that season's dealing. How about it? If you don't mind, would you? Do yeah, sure. Wait, I don't have dealing right now. Sorry. Okay, so I don't get given a dealing. I don't care what you say. Um, <laughs> we don't get given a dealing. They want us to show one to them. That sucks. But we'll carry on. Are you going to battle me? Judging by the way that she looks up and down, probably yes. I will unlock the mecha me 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 mechanism? mechanism and find the secret to your power. She had some real ominous music. Like, real ominous. That's why I kind of went a little bit dark with the... With the, um... The voice. Yo, pan pool? How's it going, little water dude? I'm gonna switch because no, no, I'm not. I don't care. We're lucky. Even yeah. Plus, they're gonna waste their turn using X speed. It's fine. Confusion one shot. It's fine. Pokemon as fast as this X speed Panpool can never break through confusion. It's actually scientific. Never mind. I was gonna say that was very loud in one ear. And nothing in the other ear. That was very weird. I feel almost violated. But we should be alright. We get a level. Lucky at 28. Let's go. Let's let's put someone else in the lead. Let's get let's get. Who do we want in the lead? Marshall's been there for a while, and he's on low health. So we'll give we'll give it to us. We'll give it to Mojo Jojo. I remember we'll give it to our side. Actually, no. 
You're on par with Starscream now. Starscream, you should hit the front. Because it's been a while. You carried us for a little while after we got you out of the fossil, so of course you deserve to be the beauty that you are. The repel's effect wore off. That's sad. Can we make it to the item without needing the repel? Nope. Two steps. Two steps is all it took. Ooh. Shelter. Run away. Goodbye. I'm going to get Icicle Crash and die in one shot. Yup, you're a Pokemon. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Does this thing count as a static encounter? I'm going to say no. Even though it did have an overworld sprite. Because it's not randomized to something that's not a, a, a fungus. I'm going to call I'm going to call no. I'm going to call no. I'm going to say hey. You're going to buy. That's kind of scary. I'm going to say hey. This thing is not really randomized at all. So that's, that's not. Let's just one shot it and be on our merry way. I didn't, I didn't have to fight it actually. I just realized that. But. When it's a one shot, why not, right? Are you a real item? A dragon gem. I was like, what's this? And I remember what gems do. Let's battle you. Why not? Water fun with Pokemon. Do you want to play with us? I would love to. If you don't have a water Pokemon, I'm going to be offended. If you have a fire type Pokemon, I'll be extra offended because those things don't want to play with water. And that's really something you should do with a fire type Pokemon is play with them with water. All right. Well, this person's literally feeding right now because they sent out a, a fighting type against our... Oh, beautiful flying type Pokemon. That's one shot with this thing. There's no way on earth it's living. It did have a lot of HP. That, that, that bar went down pretty slowly. And then we have a Squirtle. I like that. I like I respect that. She does have the water type. So she's like, you know, still sticking with the theme of how her like voice thing and not voice thing. Yo, could you imagine a fully voice acted Pokemon game? That would be insane. And actually that might happen on the Switch. Just because it's going to be such a high production value. And I mean, one of the big problems is the um, game cartridges of, you know, the Pokemon games have such limited storage in the little, in the little like, DS cartridges and, and all the other generation cartridges prior that you couldn't really fit all the voices you needed into that little cartridge. But given the Switch, and I'm, I'm assuming those cartridges have a lot more space on them, you probably could um, pull it off with, um, what do you call it? with uh, voice acting as well. That'd be pretty insane. And you know, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hoping that we see something of a much higher caliber when it comes to Pokemon on the Switch. Like, I don't wanna see Sun and Moon full HD, right? I wanna see something completely brand new and insane. Like, you know how beautiful Zelda was, right? I wanna see something of that visual quality. I mean, of course, vis Zelda's visual quality I got into a wild battle, not the- Hello? You are something fierce. Too bad I can't battle you. Yo, we're getting- we're getting close to the t I can battle you, but I'm not gonna. Hang on. I have bite. Why not? I- I probably get the level too. That did nothing. Oh my goodness. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. We we'll have one more battle after this dude, because we're not gonna be able to avoid the person who's walking into me right now. Literally right now. We'll get the level. 914. That's good grinding. That person took forever to notice me. At first, I thought he wasn't going to. Also, look at the hiker's face right now. Is that not the scariest thing you've ever seen? Because it kind of scares me a little bit. I will show you how energetic I've become just by being here. But yeah, no, like I was saying, I want to see like um, a, a much more impressive visual style. I mean, if it's going to be on the Switch and it's not going to be on 3DS, um, I'm sure we can see something really, really, really beautiful for Pokemon on Switch, whatever the hell the game is going to be called. I'm looking forward to it. I hope everyone else is too, because it's going to be pretty insane. I'm pressing the wrong button, because I'm holding the controller sideways in one hand. Um, and we're just going to destroy this battle toy. It goes down to almost nothing and flinches. We'll go for a ring attack to preserve our bites, because we have plenty of wing attacks where that came from. And then we have a knocked out. What are we going to go into? kind of want to hit up Lucky. No one really stands out here for, for fighting this thing. Let's go into Urza just because we can. We can Metal Claw. We'll be neutral to um, its primary stab. No, secondary stab, actually. Flying type is always secondary except for... Um, what's that thing's called? Tornadus? Tornadus. Metal Claw, this should, this should definitely two shot. I don't think it'll one shot. That's, that's insane. Noctowl's a pretty bulky Pokemon. There's no way. 
We take the uproar with no problem whatsoever. And I think this person had two Pokemon, maybe three. Is this the end of the battle? What's it gonna be? It is the end of the battle. Yo, if we see something as cool as like Okay, think 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 back to the, the, the Game Boy generation, right? Do you remember on GameCube how there was um there was Pokemon Colosseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness? Now now picture the jump, right, from the Game Boy 2D graphics to how amazing absolutely amazing those two GameCube games look. If we can see that same caliber leap from one to the other with going from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon to the Switch game, I will lose my mind. That'll be amazing. That is what I want to see. Either way, guys, it might be about time we stop here. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a while We've been grinding on through this route. We had a little battle with Bianca. It wasn't too exciting, but we're soldiering on. And we're gonna step in the water puddle because we look cooler. Can I stand in the middle of it? No, I can't. It's, it's like, it's four by four. Feels bad. All right. We'll stand in this corner here. Actually, no, we know. Is it four by three? No, it's four by four. Anyway, let's stop. Let's stop having a giggle inside the puddle. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys are excited to see more episodes as they come out, and the next episode will be out on Friday, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And of course, if you want to make sure you don't miss out whatsoever, you can hit that bell icon so you get notified when the episode does air. Either way, I want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.